Okay, it's March 13th. It's about a uh, quarter to nine. I want to do a trapping sparrow update, trapping house sparrows update because there's way too many people that struggle with this. And I, I can't say I'm an expert on anything. Well, I won't say this. I am an expert at trapping these birds. I've been doing it for 20 years. And I host bluebirds, tree swallows, purple martins. You cannot have, house sparrows cannot coexist with these birds. House sparrows are non-native European species who devastate our native cavity nesting birds. And this is basically how I trap them. I trap them year round, 24 seven. I all, and this, there's two types of traps I use. Well, I actually have more than that, but this is what is out all year round. Uh, this is an elevator bait trap. Okay, basically, I only use bread. If you can see, there's a piece of bread in there. Never use seed. Do not use seed. If you use seed, you're going to ca catch every native bird you can think of. If you have a morning dove that goes in this, and they will, and they get trapped in here, they can't get out, and they get so damaged they have to be euthanized. Don't use seed. <clears throat> Another problem, even if you catch native house sparrows and they get in this trap in the holding cage it stresses them out so badly that by the time you get home from work they're going to be dead <clears throat> so unless you're at home watching this day and night it's 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 not worth it i have i have not used seed in years and years and years because i learned the hard way i only use bread and bread products and that's a slice of old bread and it still works I use this trap as well. This catches the shy ones that don't want to come here and go down and get caught here. They'll come up here, they'll see they'll see the birds and they'll go in and they jump the, down on that and poof, they're caught. I made these little latches here. Um, that hook by gravity when the thing is, is sprung. So I'm gonna show you how this works a little bit. This is old, it's been Screwed onto my shed here for the past 15 years. It needs another coat of paint, but uh, it's been out here 24-7 working. Here is a waterer. It's a it's a chick waterer for chicks. So anyway, what happens is the house bro comes in. He goes down here, gets stuck, can't get in there. I have an access door here, if you could see. And what happens is the, the sparrow comes through this little trap door here and gets caught in the holding cage. Now, in order to make this particular trap work, you have to have live decoys. You have to keep some birds in there live. I keep generally no more than five. And I do have five in there. But if you can see, I've got a hole back here that goes into my shed. That is their shelter. They have to have shelter. House sparrows stress out when they're caught like this. Now, you wouldn't know I have any in there because they're inside, so let's go inside my shed. My shed is also a pigeon loft. And I have a rabbit in here some of my pigeons doing what pigeons do okay here is the shelter box basically that's for the look at that's funny um for the house sparrows as soon as i walked in they flew out into the cage this is a hopper i feed them with white millet only white millet will keep them alive longer than cracked corn or that cheap seed. Just use white millet to feed the sparrows that you have trapped. This is a holding cage. Okay, this is their shelter box. Here's a piece of old flat aluminum flashing. See, one just went out. They usually run from you. All right, so I block off the hole. If I have to clean this, which I do, there's an access door there with the, the clip. I put this uh, this thing in the in the in the doorway to prevent them from coming in and coming out. 
so and I put this right here now let's go see how many I got trapped I think I originally had uh, I think four I think originally I had four in there last week so let's go take a look And what do we got? Well, we got more than four in there. Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, or five? No, six? No. You got to keep them fed. You got to keep them water if you want to keep them alive. And you also have to keep them stressed, stress free as much as possible. Now what do I do to, when I get more than, generally when I get more than five, I, I go in there, open this thing up. I block this, this thing with my an arm so nobody can squeeze out. And uh, I just grab, grab one. See, there we go. Now, my original ones, I clip their wings. So the, if in case they get out, I clip their wings with a feather. Uh, how do I dispatch them? Well, people, I hear there's people online, oh, how do I kill them? Uh, I don't know what to do. And they get all kind. look, it's real simple. I'm not going to show people, I'm not going to kill this bird. No, I could easily do it. This is what you do. You hold them in your hand like this. You put your thumb at the base of, of their skull like that, and you push up. So you just do this motion, and it separates the clavicle from their neck, and, the, and they're dispatched quick. It's uh, quick, it's environmentally friendly, and um, that's how I do it. I, I don't waste my time with gas and all this other stuff. Uh, it's just, it's ridiculous. You keep something like this up all year round. You keep their numbers down so when spring comes and your bluebirds return and your martins return, you do not have these birds busting eggs, killing the bluebirds, killing the tree swallows. And in case people who come across this video on YouTube, these are non-native species. They were brought here by people back in the 1800s. They compete with our native birds and they are extremely destructive. And if you are one of these people that, oh, I, I just love these creatures, you, you really shouldn't. Well, you have no love for our native birds. It's that simple. It's that simple. See, I just pull this out, put this back here for when I need it. I put this on top because it keeps the pigeons from eating the millet. And that's how I do it. It's that simple. You know, my Martins aren't back yet. Should be back in about two or three weeks. And I'm not going to have any house sparrow problems. I don't want to be fighting these, these things. I really don't want to fight them as much as I have to. So it's best to just keep it up. Now, they will catch, you will catch them even without bread. Once you have some decoys in there, you'll catch them even without, without any bait. I do it all the time. I keep the neighborhood house sparrow free as it should be. And once again, if you don't realize these, these, these birds here, they devastate small woodpeckers. They steal their nests. They kill their young. They kill, bust their eggs. They kill bluebirds. They kill tree swallows. And they are, they are non-native nest site competitors for our native cavity nesting birds. They kill chickadees. They, they're terrible. Uh, nut hatches. Um, Whatever small bird you can think of that uses a nest cavity, house sparrows will kill them and bust their eggs. It's just, you know, I'm sorry, but it, when human beings screw up and they do something stupid like this and bring a non-native species in, it is human beings' responsibility to fix the problem as best as you can. It's called taking responsibility for your actions. And I hope this is helpful for somebody that's trapping house sparrows.